judges and their sponsors are pleased to present today's guest a gift certificate from Sears. Through Saturday, choose from a selection of Sears Craftsman portable electric tools. Sale price is just $49.99 each. Well, the league championship series will go to five games, and it's been only twice that two teams since the start of the championship series have managed to come back from a two-to-one deficit on the road to win the pennant. The 1977 Yankees beat the Royals in Kansas City after trailing two-to-one and then went on to play the Dodgers in the World Series. Last year, the Phillies turned the same trick against the Astros in Houston. Only three teams have captured the National League title in their first appearance in the League Championship Series, and of course, Montreal is still eligible for that. New York, Cincinnati, and the Dodgers were the clubs that did that. New York in 1969, the Reds in 1970, and the Dodgers in 1974. Nine of the 12 National League, uh, League Championship Series winners have clinched the pennant in their own ballpark. So the Expos are attempting to become the third straight National League Eastern champion to win the World Series, and the Dodgers, of course, hoping to change all that. The Dodgers, in their history on the road, have beaten Pittsburgh at home, then they won the series against Philadelphia on the road, and then beat the Phillies again at home. So they've been in the championship series three times, they have won all three, and they hope that instead of the third time being the charm, the fourth time will be the charm. Well, it was a tight ball game here today for a long time, and then it was broke open in the last couple of innings. And we'll take a look at the highlights of today's game for Montreal following this message. Well, today's game was a rematch of the second game of the playoffs in Los Angeles with Bert Hooten going against Gullickson and the two ball clubs battled scoreless for three innings and then the Dodgers got on the board when they got a break as Russell got a base uh, got on on an error and then Dusty Baker slammed one into the left field corner and that got the Dodgers on the board to make it a one to nothing ball game. So the Dodgers scored first just as they did last night, but a little bit later on, it was Montreal coming right back. And the Montreal run was set up also on an error as Gary Carter got aboard on the error by Ron Say, and then Cromarty, a wrong field base hit into left field, and that drove in Carter, and the ball game was all even at 1-1, and we played just four innings. And it really rocked along then until the Dodgers came up in the eighth inning, and Garvey with Baker aboard after a single slam run into the left field stand, and the Dodgers had the lead in the ball game by a score of three to one, a lead they were to later increase as they went to bat in the ninth. But in the eighth inning, White uh, for the Expos hit a fly ball with two on and two out, and Bobby Welch had come in to pitch, relieving Bert Hooten, and the last out of the inning recorded there as White flies out, and that got Welch out of trouble. So then the Dodgers went to the ninth inning, and they really got busy in that one. And in the ninth, it was Dusty Baker after hits by Jaeger and Thomas, and Baker hit one up the middle, and the Dodgers picked up two more runs, and that really opened the game up to make it, at that point, five to one. So Baker had driven in Jaeger and Thomas, and Ron Say came up, and Ronnie got a base hit to right field, and he drove in Bill Russell with yet another run, and so the Dodgers by this time were breezing after being frustrated all day long and leaving a lot of men on base. Reggie Smith got into the act as he got a pinch single to left field, and he drove in Baker, and the Dodgers had their final total of seven runs in the ball game and then in the last of the ninth inning they sent Steve Howe out there to blow him away and he did that by striking out two of the three batters he got Cromarty to strike out and then he followed with a fly ball and a good catch by Daryl Thomas in right field as Spire flied out and that was a fine play by Daryl to close him up and then the last out of the ball game was strike three to the hammer John Miller and the Dodgers had a tomorrow a Sunday and they will have Fernando against Burris, and we'll have more from Montreal after this message. So for tomorrow, when it's all on the line, the Dodgers go to their wonder kid. Fernando Valenzuela will try to lock it all up and send the Dodgers to New York for the big prize against the New York Yankees. Fernando, who bowed to Burris in the game in Los Angeles on Wednesday, will come back and try to do it this time, and the Dodgers, of course, would like another shot at Burris, whom they figure just couldn't shut them out twice in a row. So the Dodgers today with seven runs, 12 hits, one error, and Montreal one run, five hits, and one error. And warm-up time tomorrow, a little later than usual for a Sunday game. It starts here at 4.05 in Montreal, which shoves it back three hours for coast time. And that means we'll have a 12.45 warm-up as Valenzuela and Burris go tomorrow here from Montreal. And that does it for today. The Dodgers win game four, seven to one. Well, we'll talk to you tomorrow. 12.45 is our warm-up time, so you'll be around, will you?
Until tomorrow, for Vince Scully and Ross Porter, Jerry Doggett saying so long to you all from Montreal.